how you doing? I'm gonna do a motion uh, motion project with you today, and I'm gonna do some textures, some reflective textures, even though it's not real refre reflections. Um, you just have to use a correct texture in order to give that effect, because you can't do that in Motion Five. So some of the um, some of the things that you're gonna need, if you just Google search for um, a metal texture, metal texture two, um, like this, metal underscore texture two underscore two, you'll um, you'll find this and just a carbon or a white background whatever just 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 as an example for the floor right so i'm going to create a new project 30 frames per second and i'm going to click my fit window and then i'm going to make some text and i'm just going to call it effects so i'm going to do it quite quick today i'm going to ramp up the size using my hood remember if you don't know how to use the hood just press f7 on your keyboard or click this little button right here turn the hood on and off I'm going to click my group and move the word effects just up into the middle like this. I'm then going to add a camera with this um, this little button down here, create a camera, and I'm going to switch to 3D. Once I add a camera, with my controls up here, I can pan the camera, orbit the camera, or I can zoom in, dolly cam, up and down, right? So I'm going to um, sort of pan the camera around and then um, orbit the camera. So I'm just going to look above it, just over the top of it like this. And um, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my text and I'm going to lift it up because now I'm going to I'm going to make a floor, right? So I'm just going to drag one of these textures. Shall we use the white texture? Yeah, let's use the white. I'm going to use a white texture, just a white background texture, right? Um, and I'm going to drag that onto the onto the floor like that, and then I'm going to move it onto the um, view like that, and then I'm going to move it back and just make a um, make a floor with this. I tell you what, white was quite bad initially because my text is white, isn't it? What a douchebag. So I can't really see. So I'm going to do my text. I'm just going to go to my text and I am going to go to. Um, I'm just going to change the colour of it quickly. Just so I can see it. Doesn't matter what colour it is, because we'll change it again in a minute. So I'm happy with this. And if I sort of orbit the camera or dolly, or orbit the camera or um, pan the camera. My effects or the word effects stays on top of the white background. And the reason I've used white background is because um, on my light, I'm going to change the color on my light in a bit. So, okay, let's now make this effects or the word effects into 3D. The way we do that, remember if you haven't, if you don't know already, because I'm going to go through this quite quickly, go and watch my 3D. Um, 3D text. I'll put the um, link on the screen right right now. So I'm going to go replicator, um, and then on replicator, I'm going to go um, click the 3D button. And I'm going to go box, and I'm like I said, I'm working through this quite quick. Rows one, ranks one. Um, sorry, columns one, row, uh, rows one, ranks. I'm going to make that 120, and then I'm going to drag the size down a little bit. Cool. I'm going to go back to my camera and just hold it over that a little bit and then go back to my replicator and drag the size down a little bit so it's sort of 3D so I'm happy with that I'm happy with that 3D effect make this a little bit bigger fill the screen and go to my um, Replicator again, sorry my text effects again, and then I'm gonna go to style and gonna go to Outline I'm gonna set select an outline um, And the face of my text I'm gonna keep Yeah, the face of my text I'm gonna make a gradient and I'm gonna make it a Burnt ember gradient now the reason I'm making this gradient then, I'll tell you that in a minute why I'm making this gradient. So my outline, I'm going to make a colour, right? Or, um, yeah, I'm going to use this metal text on my outline. So what I want to do, drag my metal text, and you'll see it'll come into my um, come into my view, into my view window. But I'm just going to deselect the group so it removes the metal texture. So it's still there, but you can't see it because I've deselected it. And then I'm going to go back to my text. And with this outline here, I'm going to drop that down and go to texture. Now this texture, it's gonna to need to be a image, right? So the image, I've already got it in here. I'm gonna 
get the metal texture image. Wow, I just clicked off the effects. Get the metal texture image and drag it and drop it into this box here. And this will give me this metal um, texture effects type view here, right? So then if you look already, the reason I've used this burnt burnt ember um, gradient on the face is because it's burnt like this. So you use, if you look here, look, you use a lighter color in the center and a darker color on the outer and that's exactly what this text does so when you're panning the camera it gives sorry not orbiting the camera panning the camera it gives the effect that it's um it's reflecting right so what i'm going to do now i'm going to add a light so now you will see with my light effects gives the effect let me just turn the intensity up of the light it gives the effect that it's reflecting where in actual fact it's not reflecting it's just the um, the colors that I've, I've used let me just change the color slightly on this light let me give it like a, I don't know, like a an off smoky type color and let me with the light what I'm gonna do I'm gonna drop this um, I've got my HUD selected, right? So F7 on your keyboard or click this button here. I'm gonna drop this down to spot. So now it's a spotlight, right? I'm gonna move the light back a little bit and I'm gonna turn down the cone angle. Like this. So now our word is in a spotlight as such. So what I'm gonna do just for this demonstration, I'm gonna change my view down to 50% just so I can move this, this light quite nicely. Okay, and I'm going to just move it in a little bit. And I'm going to turn the cone angle down a little bit more. I'm just, just going to get this this sort of view right here. And then I'm going to keyframe that. And um, I'm going to move my timeline right across to the um, to eight seconds. And I am going to keyframe this over here. And I'm happy with that. So I've keyframed the light twice. And then I'm going to share that, export the movie, and we'll see what it's done. But you notice that the um, what I've done is with the light, yes, yeah, so with the light, I've not used a reflective texture because you can't really do that in Motion 5. I've used a texture that's gone from dark to light, which will give the effect of a reflective texture. So I hope this helps you out. Um, please enjoy the um, preview at the end, and I'll catch you all there. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks a lot. Bye.